Hey friends, I'm here with a pen haul. This is from Jet Pens. It's a small order, but I thought it would be fun to open together. I'll have some close-ups at the end of handwriting samples of a couple of the pens. This uh, came from Jet Pens in California. I'll include links to the pens in the description box and the two fountain pens I actually found after the fact on Amazon for about four to five dollars cheaper US. So I'll include those links as well in the description. So this order just contains four pens. Two of them are fountain pens, two of them are gel pens, and one of the gel pens has a somewhat special feature that I'll talk about when I write with it. So the first fountain pen is a Pilot Prera in a fine nib. I have two Preras that I purchased several years ago and they are very dependable writers, but they are both medium nibs and I was curious about their fine nib. So I picked this one up in ivory. It's beautiful. The two medium nibs that I have are brightly colored, a hot pink and a light blue. So I decided to go with some more neutral colors in this order that I think the aesthetic will just look nice with my traveler's notebooks and leather products. Now I had um, my personal pilot cartridges out at the beginning of the video because I realized after I placed the order that I forgot to include converters. So these pens do not come with a converter. You would have to purchase a pilot converter separately but I wasn't expecting them to come with a cartridge and they do come with a black full-size cartridge. So I decided to just set them up with the cartridge for now. And I'm just propping it on the box at a little bit of an angle to let that ink slide down through the feed. It had been so long since I had ordered Pilot Preras that I forgot they came in these um, nice storage boxes, so they do come in a sturdy storage box. So this is the second fountain pen. It is another Pilot Prera in a fine nib, and it's in brown. This is the only solid brown fountain pen that I own, and I love the way the color turned out. It's like a deep, rich brown. It almost looks black, but when you compare it to a black pen, you can see that the brown just looks like a richer color. And I think here in a minute or so, I actually do hold it up next to a black pen so you can see what I'm talking about. But same thing, I don't have the converter yet, so I'm just going to pop in the Pilot black ink cartridge and let the ink soak down for just a minute and we'll do some pen testing. You can see that these pens are super easy to set up. They are definitely some of my favorites in terms of um, quality and price. Very good combination. So while we let the ink get ready in those. I'll show you this uh, Sarasa Mark On. I actually saw this pen in one of Jet Pen's advertisement videos. This is the 0.4 millimeter, but they touted it in a video to be one of the few pens out there that you can highlight over with no smear. And that's kind of an issue for me. I have several sets of Zebra Mildliner highlighters and I love the way they look, but I rarely get to use them because they do smear over almost all of the gel ink pens that I previously owned. So this is supposedly a um, perfect pen for under highlighting. We'll test that out at the end of the video too. 
Now this is a Pilot Juice Up, also in a 04. This is a very inexpensive gel pen. I just happened to see it when I was searching through the website and I've heard of the juice pens for a long time and I'd never actually tried them. So it just kind of snuck its way into my cart before I checked out. And it does write very smooth. It's just a um, extra fine gel pen. So it would be a really nice every day just you know toss in your bag or purse pen i'll show those um, handwriting samples a little closer here at the end now if you've never used a pilot prera one of my favorite things about those pens is that when you close the pen it just has a press closure of the cap and not a twist closure and when you press it down to close it has this i guess it's like maybe a magnetic feature that's what it feels like but when it finally does close it gives you not only this tactile feedback but just this very satisfying click at the end so i love to open and close those pins so this is the ivory and you can see after just leaving the cartridge in for a minute or so, it immediately started writing. So it's a nice smooth start, no skipping. I'm just writing out a couple lines here. The fine nib is definitely um, noticeably finer than the medium, which Pilot being a Japanese um, manufacturer, their nibs are slightly finer than European nibs anyway. So I was hoping that the Pilot fine nib would not be scratchy and it is not at all. So even though it has a very fine line, it is still a smooth rider not too wet not too dry and you can see when i made that little swirl mark fairly quickly it didn't skip at all and then we'll move on to the brown now there are several colors available in this line they also have several um, demonstrator type pens where the body is clear but there's some color detail around the cap and the end of the pen and the solid body like these are a little less expensive for some reason so you can find them in or about the $30 range whereas the clear body pens tend to be found in like the 40 to even almost $60 range and I have one with a clear body or had it actually ended up cracking um, part of the cap ended up cracking during uh, during a flight but I could tell no difference in terms of how the pins actually write so whether the whether you get the solid body or the clear body, they both write equally well. Just making out those same little doodles. And if you notice this one, same exact thing, immediate start, no skipping, nice and smooth. So they both get a thumbs up. That's the fine nib up close. That nice click closure and I think I'm gonna show the comparison okay no next I'm gonna show the highlight <laughs> this is the mild liner highlighter from zebra we're gonna go over that Sarasa mark on and see how it does 
it was perfect. No smear whatsoever. So it does appear to be legit. I may start using it tomorrow in my Hobonichi Weeks and highlight over and see how it goes. Okay, so that's all for the unboxing. Um, have some close-ups here for you and a couple more writing samples. I actually show the difference here between the Prera Medium Nib and the Prera Fine Nib. But I will leave you with these writing samples. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.